everyone. Thanks for joining us from our studios in Tel Aviv. I'm Natasha Kirchuk here with ILTV's morning briefing from Israel. Police are on a manhunt for the Palestinian terrorist who stabbed an Israeli jogger yesterday in the West Bank. 28-year-old Tomer Ditul was lightly wounded in the head and shoulder as he was running near the entrance to the Neve Daniel settlement. A security guard from the settlement spotted the wounded man and called for assistance. The terrorist is believed to have fled in the direction of the Palestinian town of Nahalin. The town has been sealed off while security forces search for the attacker. After years of hesitation, the White House has agreed to allow Israel to purchase the Boeing KC-46A Pegasus aircraft tanker. Israel will use its assistance package from Washington to buy two of the wide-body multi-mission aircrafts. The Pegasus has a range of more than 7,000 miles, which is enough to reach Tehran and back. Plus, it can be refueled by another tanker mid-air. Israel intends to spend $188 million up front on each of the aircrafts, but the Air Force plans to add in-house electronics that will raise a cost about a quarter billion each. The new tankers are expected to make long-distance missions easier. The Israeli Prime Minister has unveiled a new plan to surround the entire state of Israel with a security fence. The barrier would also seal off all openings in the West Bank security wall. Prime Minister Netanyahu says the fence is needed to protect Israel from carnivorous animals, or in other words, extremist Islamist movements in neighboring countries. The Israeli leader says the border project is part of a multi-year plan to ensure Israel's security, and it will cost the state billions of dollars. It looks like former Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Olmert will be behind bars for a month longer than originally expected. Olmert pleaded guilty to obstruction of justice in the Talansky and Holy Land corruption cases in which he was previously convicted. He's now expected to serve 19 months in jail. Olmert will be the first former Israeli Prime Minister to go to prison when he starts serving his sentence next Monday. He's been found guilty of taking bribes from businessmen in the early 2000s to promote the Holy Land real estate development project in Jerusalem. That's all for now. I'm Natasha Kirchuk and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.